nice, nice. Oh, we're getting at him, boy. We're getting at him. Let's go. Welcome back to the Guards Gaming Channel. Today we're playing Is Turn a Post 9.8 Smitering the Build. So for these builds, we're gonna use Deathbringer, Quint Size, Obsidian's Bow, Atlantia's Bow, the Executioner's Axe, and Silver Branch Bow. And then later we're gonna upgrade the Executioner's Axe to the Ferocious Executioner's Axe, right? I think that this build is gonna work out beautifully for Ishtar because it's gonna give her everything she needs to really dominate the arena, right? She's gonna get really high crits at a, coming at a high attack speed. Um, some really nice attack damage and even more awesome passive damage from that Quinn size and that Obsidius's uh, bow, right? But before we get into today's um, video, man, I just wanted to let you know I am sick as crap, boy. <laughs> I took a COVID test and it came back negative, but I tell you what, it does feel like I have it. Uh, so I'll test myself in, in another two days. But so if I seem a little bit off today, it's because I am sick as a dog, right? But anyway, if you're new to the channel, uh, hey, please subscribe and turn on those notifications. We usually put out videos every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we're now streaming live on YouTube every Tuesday or Thursday at 11.30 Eastern Standard Time in the morning. And if you're looking for some really cool people to play with, man, we have over 500 um, gamers signed up to our Discord, a very awesome non-toxic um, non environment that you can play in, not just Smite, but pretty much any game, right? I put an invite to that description in any of our videos and our website, guardsofgaming.com. But hey, man, is this build going to work for us? I don't know, but we're about to find out. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we go with our 9.8 build for Ishtar. Uh, where we got going? Oh, yeah, we definitely need beats. Now, we did a video in the PTS server, right? And that build still works very well. But I went ahead, I've gotten to play Ishtar um, for about two or three days now, right? So I got a better feel for her, especially in Wild Arena, in the live arena. So I tweaked the build just a bit. And I think that this build is going to work out a little better than the last one. But we'll see how this is going to work. Now, today we're playing in a full pug group, a pickup group. So there's no telling how that rolls, right? But I can tell you what, Ishtar is actually pretty powerful, man. Her kit is uh, very much in line with my play style. And just like I said in my last video, man, her Achilles heel is CC, dude. If she gets CC'd even a little bit, man, she's just a sitting duck. Because her number three has such a long cooldown that it's... It's impossible, dude, to use that as a constant escape. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. It can definitely get you out of some hairy, hairy situations, but you got to be very uh, cognizant on how much of your um, health you have and, and when to back. Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Oh my goodness. This is bad. This is bad. Ay, 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 dude. Now we got our crits, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Very rocky beginning. I'm not too keen on the teamwork I'm seeing right now, but hopefully it'll get better. Don't mind me, I'll just get all the minions. <laughs> Dude, I couldn't see nothing. There was so much garbage on that screen, baby. I could not see crap. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, these 
these guys engage and then they run. I don't understand. My teams, they, they engage and then they just start running for no reason. Instead of finishing out, it, they have a very weird play style. Gotta get that big minion. A new weapon for me. Ready for anything. That Bologna keeps getting away with no help, let me tell you. So you can't use her ult as beads. That's really good, cool. I thought you could, because I read it and it said that you, that made you CC immune. That's good to know. That's good to know. Ay, 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 dude. City. All right, all right, let's go. I did not mean to do that charge. I was trying to do my long range attack and it, it didn't register. That's another um, downfall of this guy, dude. The stupidest thing they ever could have done is put a freaking three attack that's supposed to be meant for long range. And then if it doesn't go off, if your modifier doesn't go off, it makes you rush into the fray where you're obviously trying to stay away from. Dude, that's so silly. I guess nobody thought about that one. Dude, that Bologna keeps getting away with no health, dude. That Bologna keeps getting away with no health. Alright, let's see what we got going on.
right, good deal, good deal. Nice, nice, nice. And that's why I like having that Sidious's bow because you can actually tag other people at a long range because it arcs after, um, even though you're hitting minions, you still arcs to their enemy. Um, so that works out really, really well, especially if you play a, a long range game. I'm gonna do that one three one three. I had to do. It just wasn't clicking, dude. That's that's the only thing that you have to get used to, man. Those those modifiers. Because sometimes, like I say, any little bit of lag, anything will keep you from actually being able to get it done. Very nice. Let's go. Oh, we're getting at him, boy. We're getting at him. Let's go. We can still pull this off, man. We can definitely still pull this off. Let's go. I should have backed a long time ago, though.
Gadil, Gadil. Nice. Can't get her. Oh, we got this, baby. We got this. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, he got me. He got me. Ah, he got me with the chain. I should have turned around and just started welling on him. That's what I should have done. I panicked. Can't panic like a noob. Good game, good game. Oh boy, we came back, baby. We came back. That's what's up. Ay, ay, ay. Good game. Good game. Golly, dude. That was struggleable setup. But you see how powerful she is. Oh, let's see how we did. Let's see how we did. Dude, that started off rough, boy. That started off rough. Big props, big props. Dude, I feel sick as crap, too. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I was. Yesterday, I thought I had COVID. I took an end up COVID test and came out negative. But, dude, I tell you what, I'm feeling like crap. But we came out 9, 8, 11. 54,000 player damage, 44,000 minion damage, and all a very solid run with Ishtar, especially taking into consideration this was a pug group. So I've never played with any of these people. So that worked out really, really well. All right, so let's see how we came out. So we came out with 290 physical item power, full attack speed, 20 percentage pin, 50 crit, and 10% cooldown reduction. That 10% cooldown reduction was from that red buff. I really um, like having the passive of that size and the Obsidius uh -huh. bow. While Obsidius bow doesn't give you any attack power, um, if you play that um, three modifier off for one at long range, man, you can get those arcs to go out at a distance, getting those guys that are trying to play uh, really safe, right? Um, with And they don't even know what's hitting them until it's too late. But anyway, man, that is our Ishtar build for post 9.8. Hey, man, are you playing Ishtar in post 9.8? And so put your build in the comments down below. I'd love to see what you're rolling with, right? And again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for, man? Hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, we're now streaming on YouTube every Tuesday or Thursday at 11.30 Eastern Standard Time in the morning. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm Dark Garza, your OG on the GC. See you next time.